we will join you here at the East Willow Park. The Windward women coming up against the Leeward women once more. First match, the Windward won, getting to the target with only six wickets. And uh, now, today, originally it was scheduled for a 50 over encounter, but I understand it has been changed to a 35 overs encounter. And so the Windward's batting first would have lost one wicket so far. We don't have the scores in terms of the individual scores, etc. And we are not too sure um, the names of the batters either. But I would suspect that Kiana Joseph will be playing in this one. Short, and she's smashing it away, but um, not really timing it too well and hits it straight to the extra cover position and uh, easily stopped in the end. Timing it a bit off on that occasion. Moves in once more. Full toss down the leg side and missed the shot. It was a gift, really. And uh, swung and a miss. Swing and a miss, sorry. And uh, just a wide signal by umpire Brown. So, here goes once more. Moves in now to bowl. She's punching it. This time, finds the gap. That's a lovely shot. She has pierced the gap. It's running down the hill. It's gone for four. Hi, morning. So we have just um, been told that the batter just who struck that beautiful four is the captain, Afi Fletcher. So she struck that one beautifully. And Zeta James, the other West Indies player, is batting at the other end. So two West Indies players at the crease. And um, Winwards could be in for a decent partnership here. The Leavers will be hoping to break this and break it quickly. That's James pulling this one in the air. And it's going to go across the ropes now. It was a short ball. And James rocked back, pulled it away for four. Short delivery that. And given the treatment, pulled over mid wicket. Lovely shot by the West Indies player. So. of an adjustment to the field here. Square leg put in position. Midwicket has gone right back on the rope. So uh, Amanda Edwards directing traffic from mid on. So really can't set field for bad bowling they normally say. Here he goes, moves in now. We'll be hoping to be a lot better. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. Landing in good areas, asking a serious question. There's Ada James refused to respond. She just lifted the bat and allowed it to go through. Here he goes once more. Moving in now to bowl to James. Bowls, and that's a good delivery. Back and across, place it down. So it is Moses out of Antigua, who is bowling medium paces from the pavilion end. Here she goes, races in now to bowl to James, bowls, she's choking it nicely on the front foot she was, coming across, almost kicking it into the boundary, might just get there, um, poor bit of football on that occasion, and instead of one, they got two, Moses wouldn't be happy with that. <coughs> in the air just for a little bit, oh badly misfielded too, and they get an easy single. Here goes, moves in once more. Moses, bowls. A little touch on that from Afi Fletcher. It's gone fine. The fielder is racing across, but I don't think she can pull it in. Well, she does, actually. Let's see what the signal will be. I think a little... Oh, it was pad. Strictly pad. Leg by signal. So, well, here goes the bowler. Moving in now to bowl to Fletcher. Fletcher is on the front. Pull pushes and thinks about the single. But the field at point races in and they can't score. We missed one four from Afri Pletcher previously. She just hit it back with a point for four. And she has been playing that back foot shot very well indeed. She settles over her bat once more. Batting without headgear today. Here goes. It's full toss and she launches into it. And it's dropped. 
She really hit it hard, but picked out the field at mid-wicket who got it in the hand and floored it. And seems to have damaged herself in the process. Well, it seems to be okay. But disappointment for the ball. It was a bad ball. It was a full toss. And uh, Afi Pletcher launched into it, but picked out the mid-wicket fielder, got it in the hand and floored it. He goes once more, moves in now to bowl to James. James is getting a bad delivery down the leg side, has a swing, misses, wide signal by the umpire. He goes, bowls to James. James watches it for outside the off stump, shadowing her off stump, coming right across, watching it, making sure that her off stump is out of the way and just allowed it to go through. So. From the historic battle, and then she comes, moves in now to bowl flat, and this time fl direct on stump. She punches it back up the strip to the bowler, that ends the over. But it looks as if it's going to be Moses to continue from the pavilion end. Some adjustments being made to the field by Edwards, who is still at mid off. Afi Fletcher is in strike. Moves in now to bowl to Fletcher. Good delivery, but nicely wristed into the onside. Just wristed it nicely. And the fielder from midwicket has to come across towards square leg, can't prevent the single. Cool breeze here, overcast conditions now at the Eater Willet Park. We hope there won't be any rain as it moves in now to bowl. This time she's turning it as James, wristing it nicely as well. And the midwicket comes across, can't prevent the single. One more to the total. Rotating the strike nicely, these two. So we have confirmed that um, the Winwards would have lost two wickets so far. But um, this partnership is one that they'll want to get rid of in a hurry. Two West Indies batters at the crease. Moses would be thinking about that as she moves in now to bowl. She's driving down the ground, passes the bowler. Edwards comes across, half stops. And uh, the mid off fielder cleans up and hits the stump direct. And. Um, would be happy with the throw, but um, can't prevent the single. So the wind picks up here at the Etiwillet Park. And we're certainly hoping that it's not a signal for rain. Flash on the miss. That's a naughty shot by James. She was, her feet were planted and she was fanning the bat outside the off some Fortunately, didn't take the edge. And it goes through to the wicket keeper. So Moses getting a quick word from her fellow Antiguan and captain Amanda Edwards. Maybe a bit of advice as she storms in now to bowl to Zeta James. Ball shot. She's swinging in there. Somebody should be getting under that, but it's going to land safely. Away from the wicket keeper. Got the top edge. She was going for the pull shot. Got the top edge of the bat. And it went high in the air. But it was away from the wicket keeper. Landed safely. So it's going to be Moses, and she'll continue now to bowl to the captain, Afi Fletcher. Here she goes, moves in now to bowl to Fletcher. Bowls of way outside the off stump, a wide signal by the umpire. And I've just realized that the umpire is Frank Munzak, so we have Frank Munzak and uh, Astro Brown out there, the two umpires. So, here goes once more Moses. Races in now to bowl to Fletcher. Fletcher is getting a good delivery. That's close. And the umpire shakes his head and says, not out. It was a beautifully bowled delivery. Yorker length. Driving all around it was um, Afi Fletcher. But umpire Frank Munzak had a close look at it. And then shook his head vigorously. Afi Fletcher lives to see another day. So the right arm off spinner moves in now to bowl. James turns it into the onside off quickly for the single. And they would have picked out the fielder who they wanted to risk that quick run with. And uh, they got it pretty easily in the end. Long on comes into a mid-on position.
Flats, it's Happy Fletcher back in strike, moves in now to bowl. She's sweeping at that. And uh, keeper takes it. It's another wide delivery. So, bowler, bit off target. We've seen a couple of wides so far. Uh, she prepares now to bowl once more to Fletcher. Moves in now to bowl. This time she's struck on the pad. That's mighty close. The umpire again says not out for the second over in a row. Fletcher just looking as if she has lost it somehow. Lost concentration. She was driving loosely at that and was struck on the pad. And again, the umpire shaking his head vigorously. This time it's Oscar Astro Brown saying not out. Moves in once more to bowl to Fletcher. Flatter, faster. She punches it into the offside. The field at point. Waits for it. Grabs it with both hands. Gets a return into the keeper. No harm done. So, Fletcher just seemed to have lost concentration in the last couple of balls. As she faces once more. And I don't know if she wanted to do a bit of a man cutting or white chapel. She stopped or maybe she just missed her run up but here she goes once more moves in now to bowl flat and fast she comes solidly forward this time she seems to be concentrating a lot harder Fletcher as she came right on the front foot watched it closely onto the bat pushed it into the onside with no intention of looking a run and uh, no runs added to the total so Winwood's batting first the sun has come back out in all of its glory as he moves in now. She moves in, slaps it into the upside, finds the gap once more. But there's a fielder running the boundary line, fumbles slightly. They're going to take another run on the arm, and uh, they do that very successfully. And might even get a third with an overflow. Careless work here by the Leewards. They can ill afford these runs, and uh, three runs in the end. And uh, careless work, I thought, by the fielding team. So from what we are hearing, the bowler's name is Mandy. So Mandy wouldn't be very happy with those overflows and extra runs leaking, which would make her bowling figures not look as good as it could have. But now it's Jameson strike as moves in now to bowl. That's a good delivery. Punches it into the offside. The fielder comes across. Half stops it. But um, effectively um, stops them from getting a single. That ends another over. Moses in this extended spell will continue. Moves in once more. This time to bowl to Fletcher. Fletcher is flicking this one. There's a long leg in position. They can't, well, I was about to say can't prevent two, but they just went casually for that first one. So one more to the total. So it's going to be Moses once more. And she'll be bowling to Zeta James, the left hander. Moves in now to bowl to James. James is flashing. She threw everything at that one. But again, her feet were planted leg side. And she was just flashing the bat at it. She didn't come across at all doing that after the fact. And went through to the keeper. So, here goes. Moves in now to bowl to James. Bowls gets a full toss and misses it as well. And uh, it's a wide signal by the umpire. She again threw everything at that. Moses losing the script here. Needs to be a lot tighter than that. So from here, we have to go to deal with a, an annual sports meet. Cut! She, the bowler fell over, but James was pushing casually and carelessly at that one. Took the edge and well caught by the wicket keeper. The bowler fell over in her run through. Uh, she delivered the ball, she probably slipped and fell, but she'll be very happy to know that they're now seeing the back of Zeta James. Caught at the wicket of the bowling of Moses, kind of casual, careless looking shot on that occasion. Again, the bat moving away from the body, not coming across her stumps, and easily caught, well, well caught, I should say, by the wicket keeper. And the wicket number three goes as the diminutive figure of James comes back to the pavilion. Well, we're having a bit of a water break at the fall of that wicket. And the fielders come to the boundary edge to get some refreshment. Well, here goes the resumption after the break. Driven 
oh, almost decapitated her because it landed and then just kicked up and went straight over her head. My goodness, that was a lusty blow by, I think that's Keanu Joseph. We'll just have to verify. So here goes now, races in now to bowl to Keanu Joseph. She's flashing and that's maybe out. She fell over again. There's a loud shout and he sends her on away. Keanu Joseph she drove hard at it. So if I was Moses, I would fall over every time and I'll get a wicket every time. As, um, <laughs> every time she falls, she gets a wicket. So Keanu Joseph comes, comes back. She looks a little disgusted. I'm joined by the big man coach for the team. Gonna have a chat with Percy. Percy's going for this man. I'm have a chat, quick chat while we have a little bit of a break here. Baby, baby. Coming by you. Percy Daniel is the long serving coach for the Leeward's female cricket team. Has been doing this job for a while now. And um, Percy I noticed there's a little bit of a change in the guards for today as against the first match. Um I guess you're just giving all the players a, a on the field. Yes, inclusivity. We just want to make sure that everybody feels part of the process. Um, yes, we, we understand that the team has been selected, but um, two, we are giving some players rest as well. Um, some, some of the players are, are experiencing some little niggles, and we just thought it was important to, to rest those players and to give the others the opportunity to, to feel and be a part of the team. I just say that the team has been selected. Um, you want to give us a hinty hinty as to what it may look like? In terms of the, the, the makeup? Carl the 14? Mm -hmm. um, That's the top of your head, right? Uh, you can't do that. <laughs> you look as if you, you wa you're willing to give it a try. Yes. Um, we, had, we have two, three, three persons that are coming from, from outside of the, the region. Okay. Um, we have. Winnie's Boyce, she's coming from Trinidad. 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 Okay. We have Divya Saxana, she's of She Kelly. played last year. Yes. Yeah, she played very well. And we have a Shabani Baska, she would have played in 2018 um, with the team as and well. She's from where? She's from India. India. Okay. Yes. Um, the other composition are persons from Antigua, St. Kitts and Nevis, um, who have been a part of the, 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 the setup. Um, for for again for the for the the team, we, they are understanding that you should have at least two under 19 players, and the two under 19 players in this case are Josiah Claxton and Kimberly Anthony. And so yes, so that's just that's generally the makeup. makeup. Yeah. Speaking of that, though, captain from last year, Sanello will it conspicuous by her absence? Um, any reason for that? Well, she has taken up a new job with the Saint Kitts and Nevis National Bank. Okay. Um, and it started on the 1st of February, which would have been on the eve of the starting of the, the camp. And being uh, an employee for the first week, you're getting the opportunity to get off. So the, the bank did not give her the opportunity. Up until now, she's still not given off the opportunity to be a part of the preliminary camp and, and training games with the, the Winwoods. Um, we are hoping to have her for the tournament games. Um, but she is... Yes, as you said, notably absent, and that is the reason why, because of a new job with um, the St. Kitts. You've just got another wicket, um, new batter, or is that Afi Fletcher? She looks bemused, she looks as if she can't believe she was sent. West Indies player, Afi Fletcher, oh, oh, sent oh, LBW. LBW. Yeah. But she has had some close chances. Yeah, at I couple, saw a couple. What, so, I, so, couple so, I mean, um, in this so case... For what it's worth, it went the other way this time. Right. Um, <laughs> But we, 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 are, we are hopeful. Uh, again, we have not yet won a game in the, in the regional women's senior tournament. Uh, this year, we want to make a statement. Uh, we made a statement with the victory last evening with the 20 over. And we wanted to just keep up that momentum going into the tournament. Um, hopefully, I, like I said, we are hopeful, very hopeful. Um, it's just from, from where I sit to get the girls to buy into the concept of you know winning because we just did not get over that hump. Uh, we did get over the hump last night, and we are going to try and see how much we can capitalize on that. You can me mention it last night. What transpired last night? We had a T20 in St. Kitts oh, okay. um, against the same team under the lights. Um, we, won, we, won we won that game in the last over, um, having to score nine runs in the last over. 
in three balls we were able to accomplish the goal. Wow. For the first time winning a, a game, the Leeward Island senior women winning whether or not it's the competition game or a preliminary game, we have won a game. Well, I want to say all the best in this upcoming tournament. We are looking forward to, of course, Leewards getting right up there in top three, if not the top one. Yes, we, are, we appreciate the, the, the opportunity. And like I say, it, it, it's, it looks new, it feels fresh. And like I, from my way, I sit, it's just to get the girls to believe that we can accomplish what we want to accomplish. Um, that's, that's the whole theme. All the best, coach. Thank you. So while we were conducting that interview, we got, we had the wicket of um, Afi Fletcher going LBW. As Percy Williams indicated, um, well as Percy Daniel indicated, um, she had two close calls prior to that, which were not given. Seems as if Oscar Brown is having a word with the bowler and the captain is involved now, has been called in. I don't know what the problem is, but um, Oscar Astro Brown is remonstrating out there and having his say. And um, Amanda Edwards seems to be debating the call, but after all of that, it looks as if it's going to be Rennie's voice, who is also a Westernist player, and so she's assisting the Leeward Islands team this year. So I think that's a good move to have these overseas players involved. So actually it's Subani who is bowling. I thought that was Rennie's voice. So it's Subani coming in. India. So this is one of the players that um was mentioned by the coach, Percy Daniel. It's um, Subana out of India, and uh, she's assisting the Leewards this year. Let's see what she bowls. Um, batter not quite ready. She's asking for. So it's going to be Subana. So it's going to be Subana. Still some debate now about how many overs the match is. That should have been established earlier. I heard it was 35. Now I think it has been re-established that it's 35 overs. And um, Seems as if the bales went flying just as the bowler was approaching. So, still a bit of a hold. And uh, maybe in the next 10 minutes or so, we'll be leaving to head off to a sports meet. She loops it. One might be out. Might be the sent on away. Well, well, well. First ball up from Subana. She looped it up. The batter was struggling to keep her feet behind the crease. Frank Muzak had a bit of a peep, I thought, and then raised his finger. And so she has been sent stumped for Golden Duck, I think. So suddenly the windwards now seem to be struggling. But that was beautifully looped by Subana. And the wicketkeeper did a fantastic job in removing the bales very quickly too. And suddenly they are well pipped up here, the Leeward steam. And what, what a difference a wicket makes. Great news is that Leewards won the T20 encounter versus the Winwards last evening in St. Kitts on the lights and all. It's going to be Subana once more. She moves in now to bowl to the new batter. Loops it again. Turns it into the outside. Looking for the single. But the 
feel that back of the square is very close in and right away they change their mind. So it's gonna be Subana once more. Moving in now, flatter. This time she's touching it forward. Looks as if she was winding up for the big shot and then just came quietly forward, jabbed it into the onside, can't score. So Subana asking a couple of questions here. Teasingly flighting as she moves in once more. Full torso. That's a full torso. And that's mm, my goodness, almost caught it. It was a full toss. It was a no ball too, because a no ball for height. She really hit it hard. Might have gone for six. I thought it was an excellent effort by the fielder at deep square leg. Came across, got her hands to it, dropped it, but it wouldn't have been out anyway because it has been signaled a no ball and it's going to be a free hit. So another left hand in strike. And uh, here goes. Sabana Bowl loops it down the track. She goes, she smashes it powerfully along the turf down to Long On. We'll only get a single, but nice footwork there on that occasion. Coming down the track, and one thing Timix Halliday always said that's a late egg, but Timix Halliday. If you can't dance, you won't be able to play spin. And she really danced down the track, literally, and stroked it nicely down to Long On for a single. Here, Sabana moves in now, loops it again. She's driving smoothly. Sabana can't stop it. It goes towards Long On, but the mid off fielder in Amanda Edwards comes across, picks it up, can't prevent the single, and that ends the over. And you could stop a person from playing cricket, but you can't take the cricket out of them. I just observed that Frank Munzak was having a quick word with um, Moses. Of course, he's the umpire for this game, but he's a Nivision and a Leeward Islander and probably was giving uh, Moses a couple of tips. But if I was Moses, I would just bowl the ball and fall over. She has gotten two wickets that way so far. Moves in now to bowl. She doesn't fall over, so that won't be a wicket. But that was good movement there, though. Landed in good areas, asking questions. Batter was pushing tentatively at it, went through to the keeper. The only problem why she didn't get a wicket is that she didn't fall down. And so, no wicket on that occasion. So, Moses walks back now. As we have a bit of a sprinkling here. And maybe just the signal we need to get busy to get to the other venue here goes now moves in out the boat beaten that's a superb delivery again one mistake she just didn't fall over but she's asking some serious questions now and we have to get out of the ring 